Hi, everybody. I'm Tom Carpenter, and I'm happy you uh, were able to join us today. I uh, have a, a, a question here from a fellow from Newark named Mark. And uh, I just want to read the question and then maybe uh, share some thoughts in response uh, to it. Um, here's what Mark uh, writes to say. He says, the Department of Energy has now restricted the loan guarantee program only to those projects that can be ready by this September 30th, excluding dozens of, of worthy, uh, viable clean energy projects from securing funding. He goes on to say, what are you doing to make sure the Department of Energy provides appropriate funding to allow this successful program to continue? Good jobs and our energy future are hanging in the balance. Uh, first and uh, foremost, let me just say, well, first of all, Mark, thanks for your question. And secondly, I just want to say, uh, I want to make it as clear as I can that I'm committed to having offshore wind energy in our state. I've been working on this for years, and I'm determined to get it done. I know a lot of people feel that way. I think I can speak for the entire uh, congressional delegation, all three of us, Senator Coons, Congressman Carney, myself, and the governor, Jack Markell, when I say that we will do everything in our power to make this a uh, reality. We want to get this done on our watch. Uh, we're going to work to, in fact, we are working to get more money for the loan program. We're making modifications to the loan program, uh, introducing a, a bill to expand the offshore uh, wind tax credits beyond 2012, uh, working with the administration to move the process along. Now, I, let me just start with the facts. The Department of Energy is following Congress's orders established in the budget agreement this year to fund the government. And before this agreement, there was money in a 2005 loan guarantee program that was inaccessible to renewable projects like Blue Water Wind. Uh, Congress fixed this problem by directing the Department of Energy to make some of those funds more accessible. Now, despite this setback, I'm committed to working with my colleagues in the Congress, governor, other state officials, the administration, the Obama administration, and the private sector to help offshore wind in this industry, and especially uh, the NRG Blue Water Wind project to uh, continue to move forward. I think we made some great progress, by the way, and with respect to uh, getting uh, permitting, pro permitting challenges uh, overcome. We've done that, and now we're focus refocusing on the, uh, the financing. I've already had uh, meetings delivered within the last month or so with the U.S. Secretary of Interior, uh, with the U.S. Secretary of Energy, to discuss how we can help move NRG Blue Water Wind forward. I'll also be working with uh, my congressional colleagues, in the, particularly in the Senate, to restore funding to the Loan Guarantee Program and to remove some of the more cumbersome hurdles that pose challenges to alternative energy projects. This change to the Loan Guarantee Program is certainly a disappointment to me and I know to others and a new challenge to overcome in our quest for, for safe, for reliable, for sustainable domestic energy off the coast of Delaware. But as Albert Einstein once said, he used to say, in adversity lies opportunity. It is right then and it's true today as well and I'm confident that together we'll overcome this adversity and seize this remarkable opportunity before us, carpe diem. Additionally, I'll be introducing legislation uh, very shortly to extend the critical tax credits for offshore wind development beyond 2012, doing so with Olympia Snow, Republican from Maine, and others. The tax credits available to investors in offshore wind projects for the first 3,000 megawatts of offshore wind facilities placed into service and once awarded a tax credit, companies have five years to install wind facilities. This tax credit is designed to spur the growth of the offshore wind and domestic energy uh, industry and to ease our costly dependence on foreign oil sooner. And that would be a very good thing. Thank you, Mark.